Today we are opening up Pokemon packs till we get all 226 cards in Pokemon Pocket. There are currently three cards we are missing. So we have 223 of 226. The first one is the Flareon out of Charizard pack. We are missing the Greninja out of Charizard. Then we are missing the Aerodactyl out of Mewtwo. So this video will not end until we pull all three of those cards. So it could take 100, it could take 10, it could take literally three packs, who knows? But before we hop into the opening, I do wanna thank John Sandman for this idea. His original video will be linked down below. And if John happens to be watching, we should 1v1 in a card pack opening battle. So hit me up on Twitter if you're down. Let's start things off with the Charizard pack. We're gonna hop right into 10 packs because even though we are looking for just these three cards, I will take more gold cards. In case you missed our last video, which you should definitely check out after this one, we were able to get the gold Charizard which blew my mind. So unfortunately, I didn't see um, any shine or hear anything. So I'm not expecting anything too crazy. But again, everything we are going after is an uncommon. We're not technically counting the rares because I'm missing probably around 30 cards in total um, if we're counting all of those. But again, Flareon, Greninja, and Aerodactyl. Those are the three ones we're looking after. All right, Kangaskhan, definitely not on the list. Ooh, we have our first big hit. What could this be? I'm really hoping that it's one of these full art trainers because I still have not pulled a single one. All right, Rapidash, first rare pull of the day. This is going to be the one and only time we're looking for uncommons. So give us the, the Flareon and give us the Greninja, please. All right, Froakie, Rattata. Bellsprout, Machoke, and Kangaskhan. I was also reading some comments, and you guys were telling me how I should tap instead of checking what's behind, and I think I agree. For this opening today, we're gonna do primarily just tapping, and if you prefer this method, let me know in the comments, because naturally, I kind of just swipe, but anything for the content, you know? All right, here we go, 10 more packs. I'm not really keeping track, so hopefully I don't spend too much gold in this opening, but here we go, okay? Got one flare there. Go Goat, Pharaoh, Abra, Gloom, Polyrath as our uncommon there at the end. Froki, Starmie, Slowbro. Ooh, we do in fact already have this Charizard EX, but we will take it. And you know what? I agree with that comment. I had no idea that was there. So I think this will be better. The clips of me actually getting these pulls because literally anything can happen. All right, Pharaoh, execute. Rapidash, Go Duo. And there's the Flareon. Yes. Okay. So we are still just missing two cards in all of Genetic Apex that are uncommon. Do you just hear that? Oddish, Pinsir, Wooloo, Tegla. Ah, oh, we already have the Charmander. Okay. Okay. We got Mincino, Golduck, Golet, Weeping Bell. Meowth. Okay. This is pack eight. I thought I remember seeing Shine, but maybe not. You know what? I'm not upset. We got one of the three that we are missing. So we just need Greninja and Aerodactyl. I think now that we got one of the Charizard pack cards out of the way, we should switch things up and now go to Mewtwo. Because if I'm being honest, I've had better luck with the Mewtwo packs than the Charizard ones. So... Out of these, we are looking for Aerodactyl, and it's going to be in that last slot, I believe. Again, I've only been playing this game for a week now, and um, I think the last slot is the only place you can get the three diamonds or four diamonds. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm wrong. We just got that in the second slot. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, disregard that comment, but I actually have a good feeling about this 10 right here. Ooh, Vaporeon. That could have been the Aerodactyl. Come on. B drill again. That could have been it. Snom, Golette, Lilligant, nothing. All right, Slowpoke, Cottony, Amber, Dragonite. Come on, give us the Aerodactyl right here. I have a good feeling. Oh, B drill. You know what? I'm peeking on this one. Okay. Well, that was a mistake. See, now I know there's nothing there. <gasps> you hear that? Golette, Scyther, Woobat, Golbat, and a Cubone. We already have this art. And earlier today, I was playing against a Cubone Marowak deck in battle, and I didn't realize how good the strategy actually is. 
you can get some really quick damage out. But I was able to get my Mewtwo up to like four energy and it just wiped the whole team. 2,500 cards? That's 500 packs. Oh my gosh. I don't want to know how much money that equates to. Wait, pack point limit reached? Wait, what? Huh? There's a pack point exchange? Okay, so about pack points. Pack points can be obtained as a bonus when you consume pack stamina to open booster packs. They can be exchanged for cards according to the card's point cost. If the availability period for a given booster pack ends, its pack points will no longer be available for exchange. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know this was a thing. So you're telling me I can just take 2,500 of my pack points and just get a gold card? Wait, what do I buy? I actually don't know what I would get. I mean, we go with a gold card, right? Surely. What else would we get? Let me just look real quick. I had no idea this was a thing. Maybe we get some of the annoying cards that we're struggling to get out of the way. Wait, that's wild. I didn't know you could do that. I bet I'm one of the few people that have actually maxed out their points uh, because no one's crazy enough to open up 500 packs in what, the first month of this being out? Like three weeks, two weeks? Okay, I think... I'm gonna go with the Mewtwo, or should I go, hmm, the Pikachu is nice, but also I kind of want to pull it myself, hmm, I wish I could get instant feedback from you guys, it would be cool to have the Moltres and Articuno, I already have the Zapdos, I feel like you guys are gonna clown on me if I don't pick a gold card, alright, that's it, I'm picking the gold Pikachu EX, that's crazy, and just like that, we have our second gold card. We will pull this in the future. And if I get a second gold Pikachu EX, I will definitely trade it away. But now, we are two out of the three gold cards in our collection. So we're now just missing the Mewtwo. That's amazing. <laughs> Actually insane. Now we can keep going. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that those were useful. <laughs> to be fair, Pokemon Pocket is not as user-friendly as it probably should be. Like, when I played the game for the first time, I was confused myself. Like, there's a lot of currencies, and it's not that straightforward. Once you get in the rhythm, it makes more and more sense. But at first, it wasn't... Ooh, Gengar EX! But there's still a lot of stuff I have to learn about this game. Shelter, Giovanni. Earlier, I was going on an absolute win streak with a Pikachu deck. And then I also found a really troll psychic type deck where you just put the opponents to sleep with Hypno. But you have to get super lucky by flipping coins. I think in a different video, I'm gonna open up packs and whatever cards are inside the pack, I'm gonna have to play with and make a deck out of. Ooh, okay, Porygon. Again, we're looking for Aerodactyl. We technically got a gold Pikachu in this opening, but it wasn't from a pack. I think we can still put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> Don't get mad at me if you're uh, watching this far into the video. But we are now almost 2,600 cards collected. And again, Aerodactyl out of Mewtwo and Greninja out of the Charizard pack. Again, thank you guys for showing tons of love on these videos. And I've been basically making a promise to you guys, if you keep showing love, I'm going to keep spending money so you guys don't have to. Uh, because... I probably had enough cards after my first 100 packs. Now it's just for the satisfaction of saying I have them all. And funny enough, we pulled a gold card before... The Mewtwo EX illustration art. Oh my gosh, the timing. I almost just bought this with the currency that we had. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad we saved it. My brother actually pulled this card the first day he was playing this game. Um, this animation really doesn't, oh, never mind, that's sick. I was gonna say, it doesn't do it for me. It was just showing me shattered glass, but the reveal there, super cool. I was actually in Japan where they had uh, a Pokemon Center with a giant Mewtwo on display. Similar to this, actually. But now we got a gold Pikachu and a three-star Mewtwo alternate R E X. That is just insane. And another Gengar. We've peaked in this video. Like genuinely, we've probably opened up, what, 50 packs? And we've gotten more value out of these than all the other 100 pack openings. Another EX, okay, Articuno. What's cool about this card is their blizzard attack because it does 10 damage to the bench. And I've played against a lot of passive players 
online and this ca this catches them off guard if they're newer to the game because the 10 damage definitely racks up if they have multiple low hp pokemon on their bench oh they're in trouble what is that i know i said it wouldn't peak but we're here another articuno wow okay i have so much to trade with my community i can't wait for them to add it in the future porygon vaporeon Ooh, i don't even know what the aerodactyl even looks like but with that new mewtwo in our collection i'm very much happy i prefer this obviously to the uh aerodactyl so as you can see we are at 224 of 226 and then we have 34 rares and two gold cards. And all the empty spaces are the ones we are missing. So we're like 90% of the way through with the entire collection. I will probably do a part two to this series where we get every single rare as well. But I feel like that's a really, really big task. So let's uh, keep it a little manageable. Ooh, back to back there. Cubone, Cubone, Mincino, Grablocked, and Beedrill. It's crazy that I haven't gotten a Greninja. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Same with Aerodactyl, actually. And there's no EX versions in the game currently. So yeah, these are the only ways you could possibly get them. And I don't even know what the artwork looks like. Oh, and we were missing that. We're just getting everything. Yo, look at the little Caterpie. That's a Ditto. That's so cool. And the Dittos are actually the leaves as well. Even in the bottom left, that is so cool. I say this every video, but this is one of my favorite artworks. We have gotten so many new cards in this one video, and I'm having a great time opening these. Another one, Golbat. We do already have this though. And pack number nine, Mr. Mime, Pidgeotto, Mr. Mime. And okay, wait, we have a regular uncommon, Hollow, please. Oh, come on. I thought that could have been it. And we got, what, two new cards out of this 10? Or was it just the Ditto? Okay, it was just the Ditto. All right, not gonna lie, we are running out of gold. So we're gonna switch over to the Charizard packs here. Hopefully, we don't have to spend even more money. Come on, here we go. Honestly, the fact that we don't get effects is probably better for this video in specific. Because again, we're just looking after those two cards. Come on, Arbok, Rapidash. Give me that dang Aerodactyl right here. Woobat, Golbat, Sand Slash. How about this one? Nope. All right, for this one, I'm just going to stare into the camera. I'm not even going to look to see if we got it. Was that it? I doubt it. All right, Ponita, Kingler, Sandshrew, Dodrio, Venomoth, Raticate, Ekids, Cloyster. Everyone's favorite. <laughs> If you know, you know. All right, we got Sandshrew, Mincino, Koga, Ivysaur, uh, Slazzle, Clopopus, bruh. I know I said I prefer not getting any special effects, but we got literal garbage here. The one card I was wondering what it was, was the Mewtwo. Could have been, could have been. All right, I think we take an intermission from that and go to Charizard once again. To remind you, in case you forgot... We're looking for Greninja. Meltan, Rapidash, Snom, Ponita, Ninetales. Cool card. Don't need it, though. Woobat, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. All right. Eat more. Give us Greninja. Alakazam! We already have this, but it's a great card. Especially if you're going up against EX Pokemon. Because if you notice their attack... It does 30 more damage for each energy that's attached onto your opponent. So if you're playing against like a Mewtwo who has like three, four energies attached to him, they're actually just cooked. Like straight up. Because you're looking at over 150 potential damage there. But anyway. All right. Dodrio. Double. Full picks. Get out. What's it caught? Man. Give. Greninja. Yes! Let's go! As I said it. Woo! This is probably the most mid card that we were missing. What's the ability? Once during your turn, you may do 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. This is a stage three Pokemon. So maybe it isn't that great. I'll have to look into Greninja because the ability is cool. But again, this is the stage three evolution. So it will take a while, but not bad. Now we can just go through this 10th pack. Knowing we have two out of the three Pokemon out of the way. So now we are just straight up looking for Aerodactyl. There we go. Let's see the number go up. 225. 
out of 226. There's just one lonely empty space. Card number 210. And I know a lot of you guys out there probably already have the card. But for me and my journey with Pokemon Pocket, we need it right now. Hopefully before we hit zero gold. So that means we have 20 more packs before we have to spend more money. But like the title suggests, we are not ending until we get this dang Aerodactyl. Oh, that last pack is going to be fire. Scyther, Bulbasaur, Sizzlepeed. We got Rattata, Psyduck, Ivysaur, Frostmaw. Krabby, Blitzel. And we're going to be looking for a colorless energy card because that is uh, the Aerodactyl, obviously. Similar to that Bisharp. <gasps> yes! Let's freaking go! Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, is this card actually good? Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon into their hand. Wait, really? That sounds really toxic. Regardless, we have now completed our entire collection of the Genetic Apex set. Again, we still need the full arts, uh, the EXs, the rares, whatever you want to call them. But we've officially gotten every uncommon. So we can end the video. But if you guys recall, this 10th pack has something good in it. Here we go. Golurk, Dratini, Blitzel, and it's a Dragonite. Uh, definitely go watch my other videos to see uh, how many of that Dragonite card we have because my goodness I'm pretty sure we're up to like 10, but I just want to see what it looks like 226 of 226 show me it, baby. Come on And there we go complete Congratulations, you've collected every uncommon card in this expansion. I can't wait for the next expansion Just infinite content, but there we have it Next, we have to get the third gold card and the rest of these full arts. Wow. Shoot, dude. But to end off this video, we're going to do 10 more of the Mewtwo genetic packs. And again, if you guys enjoyed this video and you're enjoying this series on the channel and just the openings in general, make sure you subscribe and uh, check out my other videos because, ooh, we're ending off this video in style. Holy crap. Codney, heat more. Weedle, Gloister, <gasps> again, dude, I am so glad we didn't buy it, holy, I don't need to see the animation, but thank you, I'm going to have the most insane psychic deck, dude, holy, so we got a second one now, I'm pretty sure the only Mewtwo card we are missing now is that gold card, Bro, these last 10, I'm so glad we opened. I think this is just your sign to subscribe because this game knows that we're basically drowning our wallet just for YouTube views. <laughs> but hey, I enjoy it and I'm having fun with the game too. The last two packs had something guaranteed. Should we look? No, don't look, don't look, don't look. Rhyhorn, Dratini, these are the final two packs regardless of what's inside. Plopopus, Golbat, we got it earlier. Last one, Pidgey. Ponyta, trainer, Mr. Mime, and the last one is a Pidgeot. All right, well, that's going to be it from me. I think this has been our best luck ever on this app, considering where we are leaving things off. We completed every uncommon. We have 35 of the rares and two of the gold cards. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I have one of the most stacked inventories, especially when it comes to, uh... but that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe and go check out the other Pokemon Pocket videos on this channel. Again, I'm super new, but I'm so excited for the future of this game because the community is awesome. Let me know some ideas down below on what you wanna see next and we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.